Igbo Area TV on on the Igbo. IPOB UK shot. Namdekano has reportedly shut down IPOB in the UK. Hmm. I remember watching rallies, Biafran rallies in the UK. And I said, ah, it seems UK got so many IPOB people. But now Namdekano shuts down IPOB UK. What do you think? Please hit the subscribe button and let's look at this. Uh, first of all, in a WhatsApp group, I am an admin. I've realized IPOB members in the group are complaining about uh, people from UK. Uh, each time a UK number comments, they say, oh, these guys are against the struggle. Meanwhile, I believe not all people in uh, all Igbos in the UK are opposed to IPOB, but I've realized there is a trend as if a lot of guys from UK oppose IPOB. No wonder uh, the leader has decided to uh, shut down IPOB UK. It's, it came to me as a surprise. First, I asked if the UK government asked IPOB to leave UK or he, uh, the uh, leader of indigenous people of Afro Amazon and can willfully shut it down. The fact is, again, I want to say, UK people in our WhatsApp group uh, seems uh, to be having clashes with IPOB. UK numbers. Well, not all UK numbers actually oppose IPOB. Some of the numbers agree with them. I, I know an elder. I know some people in UK who are strong IPOB supporters. So what went wrong? Add your comment. Tell us what you think. While we look at it, in a latest, one of his latest broadcasts, Nandikano announced uh, the shutdown of IPOB UK. Actually, let's even look at it. The indigenous people of Biafra IPOB was founded in 2012 by Namdekano. And um, the group was predominant. And it's still the dominant Biafran group. Yeah. The most popular ever seen. With huge numbers in different parts of the world. In UK. In Europe. Parts of Europe. And they are growing in number every day. And UK has been a major contributor to IPOB as in the, the number of persons but recently I realized IPOB guys are having friction with UK members. I realize Mazu Chemefo uh, is based in UK. What is wrong? Could this be linked to Mazu Uchemefo? What do you think? Well, the news again is that Namdekano shuts down IPOB in UK. Does it mean there will be no Biafra movement in UK? People in UK, how can they identify with IPOB since IPOB UK has been shut down? How can they go to meetings if uh, there are still people who believe in IPOB and they are in UK? Are these people shut out of contributions to the Biafran Agitation Group? What do you think? Uh, your comment could help uh, change something. So in a shared video recently, uh, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra expresses uh, dissatisfaction with IPOB leadership in UK and said they have been dissolved. That is to say everyone in position of authority there has completely been sacked. In the video, he described uh, the affected persons. And I also asked those in possession of the organization's fund to transfer it while some are accused of forming cabals. Could it still be linked to Uchema for tell us what you think?
Kobana, Kobana. After 172 people got arrested at Kobana nightclub. Uh, let's see what police did to Pretty Mike Warmest. Um, I think uh, the lockdown or the shutdown of the Kobana nightclub was due to uh, they scattered the rules. They went against the COVID-19 rule. And you know, Lagos, like we had, uh, you've had in the news, and Abuja, these are men hotspots of uh, this COVID-19 as far as Nigeria is concerned. So, and based on the law in Lagos presently, illegal gatherings are prohibited. And Lagos has been strict about this, keeping to the rules. And not just they are prohibited, if people who offenders are arrested. So we had uh, recently that 172 workers and clubbers were arrested in a Kobana night club in Lagos. The clubhouse was also closed by the police, and this really got lots of people worried. Uh, are they worried that they will not go to club again or what? Uh, what do you think? <laughs> well, it was later revealed that a uh, socialite Pretty Mike got arrested following the closing of the nightclub. Pretty Mike, is um, his original name is Mike Eze. It's alleged he is one of the directors of the clubhouse. Okay. Not only the clubbers that were arrested, the owners of the club. So police had indicated already that they would arrest anyone who come for the reopening of the nightclub. And even though uh, Pretty Mike denied being a director in the club, his arrest had been confirmed by the Commissioner of Police, Lagos. Um, Hakim Odumoshu. According to him, he said, we have arrested him and asked him to be transferred to Ikeja so that he will be charged to court. And um, fans of um, the socialite um, Pretty are talking about this. And a lot of people are feeling he will be freed sooner. And a lot of people hail their arrest saying nobody is against the law. I will not be able to share comments regards that to you. The family of Morocco Madoka announces burial dates of the high life legend. You know, we reported earlier in one of our videos recently that uh, Morocco Madoka, the Egwepli music legend, is dead and uh, we just had the burial date uh, burial ceremony date has been fixed so the information regarding funeral rights of the late high chief musician uh, chief Morocco Madoka has just been announced by his family late chief Dr. Emeka Madoka was popularly known as Morocco during his times in high life music he's been regarded as is a Wibli in Igbo language. It's widely regarded as the oldest performing musician in Eastern Nigeria. According to him, during his interview, he allegedly said that he launched his music career at the age of 12 years and has been accredited with 120 albums to his credit. Uh, you all know, Oh, Basare Ze Enyi Oh, uh, but there is a well, the late musician was considered a historical innovator of the Igbo folk sound of Ibili and lauded for his unique introduction of modern instruments like jitter and keyboard. Sincerely, I enjoyed Morocco Madoka's music so much. And throughout his musical career, he has mentored several artists and had toured many countries during his lifetime. And he sadly passed on at the age of 73. And he will be buried on Wednesday, 7th of April, 2021. On Wednesday, 7th of April, 2021. 
as you can see on the attached picture. Fonera writes dates and time. Uh, he will forever be missed by his fans and Igbos in general. Lovers of Ibli misses uh, Morocco Madaka. Viewers, what do you think about our videos today? Tell us, add your comments on the comment section. Subscribe to our channel, please. If you haven't subscribed, click on the bell icon to get our updates anytime it drops. Help build this channel. Bye for now. Thanks for watching Ebo Area TV. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also click the bell icon. Like our Facebook page. Join our Facebook group. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Bye for now.